Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger, my friends. Today we got a little bit of a preview for you because we're looking at the Capcom Fighting Collection. Now this comes out later in June, June 24th to be exact here, but Capcom was very gracious and gave me a preview build of the game. So let's look at it and everything it has to offer because it's quite a bit. Not the least of which, and perhaps the main event, is it comes with all sorts of Darkstalkers. The Darkstalkers games are not playable on modern consoles and they're not on Steam. Yes, they're available through emulation and actually there's a note about that and we'll talk about it, but it's back for a modern audience. So what's everything in this Capcom Fighting Collection? Well, we have the original Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors. We also have Darkstalkers Revenge, that's Darkstalkers 2. We also have Vampire Savior, Darkstalkers 3, Vampire Hunter 2, and Vampire Savior 2. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. Cyberbots, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Pocket Fighter, Hyper Street Fighter 2, and Warzord slash Red Earth. So you get quite a bit here, and you might also notice here the game version. A lot of these you can switch between the Japanese and the English versions of the game and depending on the game it actually might change the name of the game. Like the original Darkstalker is Vampire the Night Warriors, not Darkstalkers. In Japanese it's Warzard, in English it's Red Earth. And you might notice a whole whack of numbers here besides which version here, right? USA, 9-7, like this, that, and the other. There's a reason for that. Many games on this list are not easily available. Like uh, once again, like the Darkstalkers games are not on modern consoles, they're not on Steam until this, right? So a lot of people, they emulate them, and a lot of them are very competitive games, Vampire Savior especially, and the specific versions of the emulated games people use, they're making sure they have the exact same build. So the people who are used to, say, playing Vampire Savior, the specific build for tournaments, this is the exact same build of that Vampire Savior game. So making sure even the purists are happy. We'll go directly into each game in a moment here, but also there is more quality of life stuff here. For example, many of the games have an added training mode. That's all new. The arcade versions of Darkstalkers did not come with training modes. And sure as sugar, you boot up the game in training mode, it'll put you right to character select, pick whatever characters you want, and then, well, it's got a lot of the modern features you'd want. So you have inputs, uh, you can see how many frames you hold whatever input, that's great, all your button presses, damage, combo factors, all the kind of stuff. It's a proper modern training mode. As a collection, they were not obligated to do this. They could just easily, okay, here's the arcade version of the game, go, 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 that's it, right? So having a proper training mode is a great bonus. And it's not just Dark Soccer's, all the games have features like this. So say you're like me, right? It's been a while since you've played any of these games on this list, so... A training mode, great. Okay, I'm gonna practice my triangle jumps here with QB. That's kind of the stuff I need to do. Also for features, well, online play. Every single game has online, casual, ranked, whatever, full leaderboards, rankings, and everything is powered by rollback net codes. That's great. So if you're looking to get some classic gaming in, this is gonna be a pretty good way to get it done. For more traditional features, there's also a museum. You can unlock all sorts of classic art for all the games. Also, all sorts of music, and when I mean all sorts of music, I mean like total music, like every possible track for every game on the list. The games in this collection support you creating save states. So say you're in a position, this, that, and the other. Okay, this is good. Let's quick save here, and let's see how it goes. And this example here, I get bopped in the head. Well, screw that. I don't want to get bopped in the head. Load the quick save. Let's get it done, right? Okay, let's change fate. And I still get bopped anyways, so screw it. Quick save again, let's load her. Let's just keep doing it over and over and over until I get it correctly. The games also support all sorts of visual features for like for your sidebars, multiple forms of art or no art, right? Uh, display filters, all sorts of anti-aliasing. Uh, do you want original 403? Do you want widescreen, this, that, and the other? However you want to put it to your own visual taste, the game will let you do that. All that said, now let's talk about the games themselves, and now let's talk the original Darkstalkers, one of the biggest deals here, right? So the original Darkstalkers is a groundbreaking game in every possible metric, uh, mechanics, aesthetics, everything, like Morgan, you know who Morgan is. Morgan hasn't been in her own series since the mid 90s, yet uh, the designs of these characters have stood the test of time. People love the Darkstalkers characters, even if they don't get their own games no more. Things like EX moves, do you like those? Well, that came from Darkstalkers, although they call them ES, air blocking, Darkstalkers is just a classic. 
Darkstalkers might not be Street Fighter, but fighting games do owe a lot to Darkstalkers. Our next game on the list is Night Warriors Darkstalkers Revenge, and it's, well, the sequel to Darkstalkers. So, you know, there's some new characters showing up here, like, say, Donovan, very famous character himself, and new stages, new, you know, it's the usual mid-90s fighting game fair, right? So just uh, new characters, new stages, this and the other. It's not the main event. Let's get real here. The real main event is Vampire Savior. This is Darkstalkers 3. So once again, new characters, new UI, you know, people can do different stuff like that usual fighting game fair. But here's the thing. If you've ever seen anything with Darkstalkers at all, footage, tournaments, this, that, and the other, it's probably this build of the game. Vampire Savior is the competitive standard of Darkstalkers, and it's the one that stood the test of time. The people who still play Vampire Savior today, it's a very vibrant community. There's still tournaments all the time. People love this game. Many people who will buy the Capcom Fighting Collection will be buying it because of Vampire Savior. Competitively, it's one of the most important fighting games of all time, and its legacy, well, stands the test of time. So it being part of this collection, uh, being on modern consoles, being on Steam and PC, all that kind of stuff, rollback netcode, like that's going to be great. A whole generation of people who just, you know, don't know about Fightcade or don't play it through emulation or whatever, they're going to get their first taste of this game through this collection. That's just fantastic. Now, Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2, these guys are the oddballs. So these games are Japan only, and they're not canonical mainline Darkstalkers games, at least as far as the story and stuff goes. So they're updated versions of Vampire Savior, basically. They have some different rule sets, some different tweaks to the balance, and the biggest deal is there's different rosters. Like in this version, you will find no QB or Sasquatch. But instead, here's Pyron, right? And Donovan. So the rosters are different. Now, this could be scuttled, but this is the rumor I heard is the boards weren't big enough to fit all the characters back in the day. I don't know about that, but that's the rumor I always heard. But basically, slightly different rosters, slightly different balance. And there is some special gimmies, like some unlockable characters, but that's about it. Generally speaking, the one everyone plays is the original Vampire Savior. However, still, these guys never had official English releases in any way, shape, or form, to my understanding, besides this, right? So having this in the collection is still fantastic. Now, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. This game is an all-time classic. If you like puzzle battlers at all, uh, Tetris, this kind of stuff, this is one of Capcom's best outputs for it. So it has the classic gem battling formula, you know, line up your guys, explode the gems, this and the other. But the thing is, the characters, each of the characters in the game, they all add their different takes to the game. Every character has different strategies they want to go for, so it's more than just, you know, the one optimal strategy, and that adds a lot of life and flavor to the game. Plus, they can do special moves to each other, they animate beautifully. If you like puzzling combat, this is one of the all-time classics. Now, Pocket Fighter, or Gem Fighter, depending on the region. So what if we took the people from the Puzzle Fighter and then put them in their own proper fighting game? We give them enough of the classic moveset, so if you know the games, you're not going in quite blind. But then we also add the Gem Fighter flavor. Like, gems will keep following throughout the stage. You need gems to power up your moves and your supers. And everyone has a larger-than-life personality attached to them. Say, during the course of your fight, Zangief. Zangief can hit you, turn into a gorilla, then turn into a caveman. <laughs> and Morgan also can turn into a nurse. So there's a lot of wackiness attached to this. This is definitely not like, you know, your super serious fighter where, you know, no fun allowed. Puzzle fighter was crazy. So, hey, we're going to make this crazy as well. So if you want just a very silly fighting game experience, this will definitely fit the bill. Now, Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition. You know there's a lot of versions of Street Fighter 2 for sure, and this is all the versions of Street Fighter 2. That's sort of what makes this build of the game special. It's everything all at once. So, do you want to play World Warrior Ryu, or do you want to play Super Turbo Ryu? You can pick that and all points in between. They all play like their original balanced version from whatever version of the game they came. So in like Street Fighter 2 Super Turbo, you could pick the Super Turbo version or the old version from the previous build, right? But this one, you can play every single build of the character. So whatever works for you, well, that's the one you can play. Basically, it's every version of Street Fighter 2 in one game. 
So if you're a fan of Street Fighter, and I know more than a few of you are, this is a pretty fun build of it to play. Now, Warzard slash Red Earth, depending on which version of the game you're playing. This one's a treat. Not many people have ever gotten to play this, myself. I've heard about Sir all this, that, and the other over the years, but I never actually got to play it until I actually got my hands on this collection. The main thing I knew about this game was Hauser the Dinosaur. You could play as Hauser in Capcom Fighting Evolution, which was a crossover game from a very long time ago. And, well, he's a big dinosaur man, so he's pretty cool. For a lot of people, myself included, uh, this will be your first real go at Red Earth, so I can't say too much more than just look forward to trying it out. It's definitely a very odd game. People like Tessa also was in SNK versus Capcom, so I knew her from there. I know a lot of the characters, but I never knew the actual game till now. And it's interesting. Like a lot of weird concepts, like you have to level up mid battle and leveling up unlocks moves. It's definitely a very different kind of game. And speaking of a very different kind of game, the final game on our list here is Cyberbots Full Metal Madness. So you pick your pilots and you pick your robots. Now, I'll be honest with you, I knew even less of Cyberbots than I did Red Earth, and this game's nuts. Now, first our selection of pilots. First, you might notice here on the uh, far left, Jin. And yes, it's that Jin, the Jin from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Once you select your pilot, you select your class of robot you would like to go with, and there's multiple robots in that class. Now, as for like the technical stuff, I could not even begin to understand. I just like the guy with the drill. As far as the actual combat goes, you're robots, right? And uh, you're a little clunky, but in the good way, you know, the robot kind of way. There's all sorts of like gears and stats to worry about here. Like you can get your arms knocked off. You can get hit with like status effects that apparently overheat you. Once again, I don't know too much about the game, but I find it quite interesting. The animations as well are very beautiful. The stages too, I think are very interesting. Like you see like big rockets going off in the background. Once again, I can't definitively speak for this game in any kind of competitive level. All I know is there's big cool robots and they do big cool robot things and blow each other up and drill each other. And it's fun. This is the kind of one I'm looking forward to learning and trying it out online when the collection properly comes out because this game's pretty freaking wild. And that, my friends, is a preview of the Capcom Fighting Collection. So lots of good games and some big tentpole games like Vampire Savior, Red Earth, Never really saw the light of day in a modern sense, and now they're here for you. Cyberbots, I think, is pretty cool. Puzzle Fighter Returning is great. There's all sorts of fun features for each of the games, like adding proper training modes is awesome for the older games, and, you know, filters, visual stuff, that's great, too. Very much looking forward to the fact that all the games come with online play, and they're all rollback net code okay, so a lot of the classics should be playable in a modern sense in a way that just hasn't been possible before on consoles and through Steam now. So not much else to say other than looks pretty interesting to me. Looking forward to release date and looking forward to get some games in when the time comes. That all said, friends, we're at the end of the video now. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And when the time comes, go out and try the Capcom Fighting Collection.